So all right, in this video, I want to share to you uh, three apps that I regularly use in my Surface Duo. Um, so one of the app that I use all the time in Surface Duo is the browser, right? So we use browser all the time, maybe not only in Surface Duo, but in almost any device, just because it, that's how we access the internet. For me, uh, a feature that I feel important in a browser, in a mobile browser, uh, is the ability to really remove this you know pop-ups these ads i think that's more important to me right and in a, in a desktop you know i use chrome in my desktop and we can install extension extension i use uBlock origin all the time as my ad blocker and it, it works perfectly i would like to have those kind of browsing experience you know free from ads and pop-up also in my my uh devices here like my service duo so fortunately if you go to the play store there are you know a lot of variations of a browser and some of them support you know extension and the browser that i want to share to you in this video is is called kiwi browser now kiwi browser is a, a browser it's a chromium based browser and and you know it's open source and you can you know see its its policy and things like that in a in their github page but the feature that i really like with this from this browser is you can install you know third-party extension so you go through the uh, this menu here you can see there's an extension option here so if you click extension so you having you know you can see here you can install this uBlock origin extension in the browser here as an extension from chromium extension and you know having this extension really change you know the experience of browsing the web on the you know android in this device and this you know this free uh, ads experience so for example, here I, I open uh, the Verge and you can see it works pretty well. There's no ads showing up here. And you know, it, it, it gives you like a very pleasant experience to browsing the internet this way, right? So basically, you know, this is really feeling like you have a desktop class browser in Duo. I really like to surf the internet just using the portrait orientation just because, you know, it's, it's give me uh, more content practically. Just because, you know, the way you look into the websites by scrolling up and down so i feel it's more natural to just you know browse the internet this way so that's my first app you know uh, the Kiwi, Kiwi browser and you can also use like firefox i think firefox will also allow you to install some extension but just basically um there are browser in a play store beside you know edge and chrome that you know give support for extension so you can install third-party extension in this case i install uBlock origin and it give you you know a totally a more pleasant experience in you know using duo for browsing the internet now the second app that i want to share to you uh is that even though i i most of the time use duo in a vertical orientation there are situation or cases where i use duo in a landscape orientations and and um and especially when you have the app that support Duo uh, form factor. I really enjoy uh, going through Reddit. I learn a lot uh, when going through Reddit. One of the things that I really want to do is if you can go through Reddit in a, some form of app that support this dual display. Like, so it's, it's like you watch, you're reading Reddit in one side. It gives you like the, the home um, interface, the home uh, page of Reddit. and on the right side it gives you like uh, maybe the detail of certain subreddit maybe the discussions of the image or some uh, uh, video what's going on there so actually i think there'll be a great experience in you know browsing reddit so fortunately there are a couple uh android app that support dual display uh for reddit right uh but the one i want to share to you today is is called sync for uh reddit so if i go to play store now you see, uh, there are three different app here, right? So there's a Sing for Reddit Pro, a Sing for Reddit, and then Sing for Reddit Dev version. Now the Sing for Reddit that's free here is it's not the one that you want to have. This is like a, just a basic Reddit app, and it's not optimized for a uh, dual display, right? Uh, the one that you want, at least the one that I have, is the Sing for Reddit Dev version. This this one here. So I bought this previously when I had an Android tablet and, and I, I remember it support dual display. So when I try to install it in Duo and see uh, if it's, you know, if it behaves the way it's supposed to be in dual display, it actually works pretty great. So here, if I try to run 
uh, a thing for Reddit. You see, it opened one screen here, and it's showing you the front page of the Reddit. Um, you can also try to expand this, and what you see here is that, oh, it's actually empty because we haven't selected a topic from the front page. So for example, if we click this, uh, this topic here, you see this topic discussion shows on the right. So you can still scroll like maybe like information here, maybe what um, you, you can scroll here, you know, uh, the front page while also we, and on the other side, you see the discussion, more detailed discussions of, you know, that topic there. And a comment here like that, is, you know, shows on the right side, while on the left side, you still, you know, been shown the front page. So you can just keep scrolling the front page and you can kind of, uh, uh, on the right side, you still get, you still keep that detailed discussion, right? And, and See here, you can actually see on the right side, if you want to look more detail about this image, for example, you can click that image. And probably it's not the best, still not the best experience, uh, but you can actually adjust that um, by, uh, by a long press, this image here is going to show you, you know, the image on only in one screen. So this is a feature that I really enjoy, you know, so if you just want to see what the image is all about, you can kind of hold it. And you see it's actually showing like that image for example if i want to see this about the subreddit blender subreddit here for example i open it you know um and you can also again see the discussion what it's all about well the left side keep the main um the main front page there and you want to see more cl closely about this this video here maybe long hold here i'm gonna play and then give you the sound like that all right so it's actually pretty neat uh, if you want to go if you want to see full screen just tap it go full screen right but if you just want to quickly preview this you just kind of long hold it and uh, it's played so it's actually a very very nice experience uh using this app for browsing reddit i really like it a lot this is one case where you know you have an optimized app for a certain uh applications uh, you have an optimized app for a certain surface that you enjoy a lot and it works it works really great so this is an app that i really want to recommend it's, it's a very good app it is not free though the, the dev version so if you if i go to um my play store again so think for it for dev is not a free app so again what you want is not the uh the, the free version you want a dev version and this dev version and i don't know about the pro version because i don't have that pro version uh i only have the dev version but for for sure you know the dev version which i had support you know this this tablet mode the dual display mode so and it's not free it's probably around i forgot probably around like five to six dollars or something but i think it offers a great experience and there are actually a lot more feature in it that i haven't really explored yet you know you can actually tweak how it looks you can actually tweak you know maybe you want to see like a card or things like that there's a lot of features you can adjust in the setting you know there's a lot of different feature you can play around with the animations the theme you know the view type and things like that all the feature you can access for you to get the best experience right and i'm gonna this is what i'm saying this is tablet version so you can have a tablet mode this tablet mode will allow you to have these two screens side to side um when you browse the reddit so this is an app again that i really recommend and enjoy the use uh in, in surface duo for you know just serving and browsing reddit yeah, so this is my second app again sing for reddit the dev version uh, it's not free but i think it's worth the price just for the experience that you get when you browse reddit so the last app that i want to talk about is this shonen jump so shonen jump app is you know it provides you a lot of uh, manga so if you don't know manga is a japanese comic and i enjoy a lot reading you know japanese comic so i also like to you know in previous video i told you that i use do a lot for reading because most of my reading is in PDF, I end up, you know, reading it in a in a portrait mode. But for manga, uh, when I grew up, you no, know, I I read I read manga a lot, and I read it in a book. So it's really exactly the form factors of duo. And I would love to be able to read manga, you know, comic in a like a book form factor. Because I mean, today if you use a phone or a tablet, you're gonna read manga by scrolling, keep kind of continue scrolling. But I really want to be able to read manga just like how i did back then using a book and i think you know surface duo is actually providing you that form factor the question is if there's an app for that right now sonin jump uh, this is a free app you can get it for free but to access all the content you need to subscribe i think maybe around like two dollars a month i think around that right so it's a 
around two dollars a month but you can actually download it for free you can actually download it for free and you can actually still get access to the last three chapters of a certain uh a certain manga series for example here i'm looking at one piece a very popular manga series and you get access to the latest three chapters of it right so it's actually pretty neat right um unless you want to maybe you want to you miss out in a certain chapter and probably you better subscribe right but again you can get it for free um you can get the latest uh, chapters for free three latest chapters for free and i think it's, it's a great deal it's an awesome deal now uh when you use it in duo right? when you use it in duo it's it's uh you know you, if you click it I mean, for example here i'm trying to uh, open one piece for example i'm opening 1.1 of the chapter here uh, you can see this kind of showing you uh, one side but see what happened when you, when you try to span this app into the entire display of duo so, so if i try to span it here like this boom you get this kind of a like a book experience on your hand for reading manga which is you know the thing is i really i miss the, the things that i really miss so i i the way i read comic manga comic when i was a kid is exactly like this so you read manga from right to left so you swipe to the right and and i don't know what to say but this is so awesome it's, it's like you know reading manga in a book right uh, it's not it's not it's like scrolling continuous scrolling reading manga but it's like you know reading a book and it's nicely you know in the middle even though there's like a gap there it's nicely fit there it's, it's, it's like very optimized for those it's, it's, it is like exactly for surface Duo. see i mean this is so awesome this is this is you know the features that i really enjoy in the you know it, you know, reading just for fun is, is pretty awesome reading manga like this is super awesome right um uh, obviously you can still read it in a portrait mode as well right and you get this uh, your conventional like a uh, look but i feel the the best experience again in this case the best experience i feel like reading it in last landscape where you get a nice separations and you know is is it's awesome i really enjoy reading manga like this uh, the, so there are a lot of different selections of manga here like for example one punch man is also very popular you know so it is a, a story is about this man that can just defeat all of his enemy in just one punch it's a pretty epic story if you never you never heard about it just go read it um it's pretty awesome and you can just for example open it here um again you can kind of swipe it there and you get this again awesome experience this is a really uh one of the reason why i really enjoy reading in super Duo. is also this one is for fun it's not for work so it's super awesome super awesome so you can kind of scroll it this is like a very uh, natural experience in terms of reading comics or manga or reading anything like so it's so, super awesome so this is the third app you know um i really recommend this app if you like manga you like to read manga uh, and you have Super Duo. I, I was, I, mean, I would recommend you to download this and try this out. And it's pretty awesome, pretty epic. So yeah, that's all. You know, my uh, three apps that I use regularly with my Surface Duo. Um, you know, this three app here you can see. I use it regularly with my Duo. I, I enjoy it a lot. And I think this is, you know, several example of the app that I think where you know surface duo outshine any other device. You know, the case where there are certain problem or cases that that design specifically for surface duo and you have the app that is well optimized and support for the duo as well and you can see it's outshine any other devices right this is the thing that you can only do with surface duo and that's the reason why i enjoy and love using surface duo a lot for reading reading for work or even reading for fun so yeah that's all i think for this video so if you you know if you like enjoy this content and maybe you learn something from it uh me let me know by liking the video and also consider subscribe and you know, thank you